Man, these tarantulas, I tell you. You see, this one, this is my Phonopelma by called Retum. You see, I've done so many videos like this, and yeah, it's about them filling up the water dish with substrate. But the thing is, this one, she made her burrow like in here, and all the way to the back, and it comes out here. And the thing is, she knows how to make her enclosure look nice. Isn't that right, girl? Yes. But she does not know how to appreciate water dishes. <sighs> so annoying, man. So annoying. And, uh, well, I'm gonna have to, hopefully she doesn't run it because this girl, she is a pretty hungry girl. Yeah, just pretty much I just throw the up straight like into the bin. Ah, girl, if only you would appreciate <laughs> your enclosure, I mean your substrate, like how you do with, ooh, look at that. It's our old molt. Old molt right there. Awesome. All right, so these stones, I'll just probably just throw it to the back. Man, these... But yeah, like I said, I've done so many of these water dish videos but i'm still gonna do them because like i said this channel i'm just gonna upload everything and the thing is i'm gonna try to upload every single day so pretty much whatever you see every day is my daily stuff that i do with these tarantulas because there's not one day that i come into this tarantula room and there's nothing to do there's always something be it like this a water dish change because these guys they're so notorious for just yeah filling up their water dish with substrate and there she goes but yeah there's always something to do like tarantulas yes they are very low maintenance pets but if you want to keep their enclosure nice there's always something that you're gonna have to do there's never a day that there's nothing to do there's tarantula room. So yeah, let's just overflow the oh my oh my gosh. But yeah, let's just put a little bit of water into the substrate just so that it'll soak down. Give her a little bit of humidity from the bottom up. But yeah. There we go. And there's the bin with all of her substrate. And yeah, like I was saying, there's always something to do in the tarantula room. Like, I mean, you, you don't have to. You can always just get the water dish, even if their like, water dish is like filled up with substrate. You can always just get like a bottle and overflow that and they can still drink from that. But if you want your enclosure to look nice, like me, for example, you would probably want to clean that out. And I mean, I'm still not in the obsessed kind of like position level because you see like this geniculata these are bolus the good thing about this girl is she always throws her bolus at one spot so that's awesome if i want to clean it i'll just take the tongs take it out but the problem is if i put the tongs in she's gonna run after me so yeah no thank you so yeah like i said there's always things to do you want to clean this you got to clean that and some people they don't like poop so you got to wipe that as well they poop like, hmm, I mean, they don't poop every day, but if you have like 99 tarantula custom made enclosures like I do, yeah, you're gonna have to do <laughs> quite some work. And some tarantulas, they're gonna molt and take out the molt if you want. And yeah, there's pretty much always something to do. And it, it keeps your time going, which is a good thing. Although these guys, not compared to dogs and all, compared to them, yeah, they are very, very low maintenance and very, you don't really have to do a lot of things. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm still, I still haven't like cleaned my floor. Oh my gosh. But yeah, see my blue fang over there? Beauty. And this one likes to poop over here for some reason. And if you are a little bit, I don't know, OCD, you would clean this off every day because she poops almost every day. Yep, it's crazy. So, yeah, it's my history of crazy gigas.
But yeah, guys, like I said, always stuff to do. I come in every day. There's always an enclosure with these freaking mushroom spores. I'll get the a metal chopstick, stir it up, and all good to go. So yeah, always something to do every day.